Hey everybody, I'm Vicky Peel with Her Life Junks, and today I want to show you an update that I've done to my fall February. Now, I've done a couple of other videos. One was a Christmas topiary, and the other one was the original fall topiary that I'm updating here. And I'll post links to both of those in the description so that you can take a look at those later too. But for now, I want to show you over in this corner is a topiary that I did previously. And I don't think I did a video about that, but it's very, very simple to do. This is a five pumpkins straight up and down and concepts of how I created it are basically the same as the one I'm going to show you here. I did put whole strills in the pumpkin over a dowel and I put spacers in between those pumpkins, which was basically a, like a empty wax paper roll. And I cut those in pieces of one to two inches, put them between the pumpkins. And that was so that I could have enough room to put the garland around it without covering up the pumpkins. Now, garland needs a little work, and I wanted to fix that when I put it out. But I had put it in the barn, and I hadn't done anything to it since, so I need to adjust that. Now, this is the one I want to show you today, and I've, I've just finished. And in the previous fall, take the area, it was more like Halloween, and I used this orange one in replace of the white and black one here, and and this black one I had on the top with the dots on it. And I replaced those. I'm going to show you how I did those. Okay. I also want to show you how I stored my choking areas so that they'll be in good shape for the next year. With the tear locks that I've got, my shape areas from the see I've got the the white one like this, and then the orange one, and everything I need to do with topiary. So in, uh, everything in this box will do one topiary, and that keeps it nice and, and fresh for the mix. See, but now I want to show you how I did this. I'm using the same bottom pumpkin as I did in the previous fall topiary because I wanted it to be all black and white. The reason I'm using this was I don't want to do this whole look with better. I love it. It's very pretty, but it's very difficult to do it. Basically, because it's a circular item with grunge in it, so it's hard to get this just right. But I do show you how I did this in the previous fall, too. Now, so I'm also using the same herb that I've used for my Christmas topiaries. And I've got some sand in the bottom of this because these urns are lightweight, they're plastic. And if you don't put something in the bottom of them, especially this one over here, like sand or rocks or something like that, it could easily blow over. So yes, on the top of the urn, okay, we turn up a round seat supply book and I painted it to match and this just sits over the top of the urn itself. And the dowel is we put this in a plaster of Paris. Well, this one look, looks a little crooked, but that doesn't matter because once you sit it in the bottom, first of all, you've got the sand you can adjust it with. And then when you put this on the top of it, that holds it into submission so you can straighten it with that alone. But it takes a little while for the plaster of Paris to set. I cut off the bottom of a milk jug and created that. So you'll need a dowel and plaster of Paris and a container to put it in. Now I'll show you how I prepare the new white pumpkins. This is a little more contemporary look, and I can leave it up longer so it won't look like just Halloween. Starting with the middle size pumpkin, and this is a nine inch pumpkin. The bottom one is a 12 inch. This is a nine inch, and then the top one is a six inch. So I used a roll of black contact paper and to cut my stripes. And I took a piece of, just a piece of paper, just a piece of paper, this was a whole sheet of paper, and taped it on the pumpkin, on basically on one of the ridges, and then held it in place, and I used a pen to 
roll down the side of it all the way to the bottom and in the grooves on each side. So then I cut it out so it would fit. And you can easily trim it so it's the size you want. So I also made two sizes, a wider one and a small one, because these are like zebra stripes. They're not going to all be the same. And they wouldn't uh, all fit on there anyway if they were all the exact same. So you can trim them to fit appropriately. Now, once I did that, then I laid it on a piece of contact paper, like so, and traced it. And you don't have to be perfect with this because you're going to trim it with your scissors and get it just like you want it anyway. And you can also trim it afterwards if it doesn't fit like you want it to fit. Okay, if that's not very neat, but it doesn't matter because I want to just straighten it when I cut it out. And I cut off just a piece of wind that paper just wide enough to accommodate these stripes to make it easy to manage. And the way that I started was, in fact, also another thing is, after I got started with the first one with the template, then I used the ones I'd cut as a template for the next one because it's thicker, it doesn't move as much, it's easier to trim around. Okay. Now, I put it on the first one by starting up here, put it down the middle of one of the sections of the pumpkin all the way to the bottom, keeping it on that same one. And you can just press this down. It's, the wider the strip is, the harder it's going to be to make it lay flat. The, but you don't have to be exactly flat. Just press it down the best you can because you won't even see any of that anyway once you get it on there. And to make it equal distance, I put the second one on exactly opposite the first one on that side. And then the next one that I'm going to put on, if I get this one started, okay, just peel off the contact paper and I put it exactly in between the first two and go down to the same ridge all the way to bottom. And then the next one, of course, I would put on this. That way you can keep keep it fairly even and don't have to come up that at the end. Too much space or too little space. Then after that, I go in between. So each time I go in between the two to make an equidistant. And then I end up with one in between here. And that makes 16 to finish up this. Now, another thing that I'm going to have to do with this, of course, is to... If you'll notice as I have them sitting straight on top of each other, is to cut off this stem. So I just used a cut of bean saw and just got it close as I could and cut it off like this. Okay, I'm not going to take the time to do that, but it's going to sell a little bit like that. Then you would also have to drill a hole in the body. Now these are pop hand or hollow, so that makes it really tough. And my trusty drill. Um, which is about a, look, I think it's about a half inch um, bit that I use here because my dowels are half inch, but you can adjust a forty. Now, you may need someone to help you hold it because these don't exactly fit straight. 
So just put it in the center. Yes. And drill day. Um, and then also drill in the top here once you cut this off. And that way the dowel will go clear through it. Let's see. You don't have it done this one yet. So just put it in the center. And it's very simple. Now you see it does make a mess. It's got that styrofoam stuff in it. But it's real simple to do. Just keep it in the center. And I don't put one at the top of this because I want it to be the top of my palette. So I'm going to top plug it so I don't take off stem for that. Now, now I also have a couple of black pumpkins. And I thought that I could do this in the place of the white one. So let's say I didn't want to use the white one for where you cut this one. I could just slip this one on the top and have a black. And you may have to adjust them a little bit so it looks nice and straight. But that works just as well. Yeah, now let me show you. To do this one, okay, I bet. No, I used a little dot cutter, circle cutter from craft store. Cut a strip of the paper, the contact paper, and just slide it here. And cut as many circles as you need. And then, of course, you just peel them all. Yeah. Here's the trick I'm going to show you, too. If you have trouble peeling it off, score it down the middle with an exacto. And then you can bend that and peel it off a lot easier than trying to do the edge, which I was having trouble with. Yeah. And I just started placing them randomly. I just thought about how far apart I wanted them, and then just start placing them on my pocket. I tried to avoid having them in a row. And just kept randomly placing them until I got it looking like I wanted. And that's how you do that. Now, this black one, I used this thin contact paper. I got this from the dollar store. And because it's so thin, it's difficult to reach one of these. It really did to get these, the fact you peel them off. So, this is how I discovered it. My little trick. Scoring it with the back to knife. Be careful not to cut all the way through it is because these are so flimsy. And then you could eat peel it off. Because I was probably spent 10, 15 minutes trying to get one of them off. And that is my inspiration for figuring this out. So this is what I'm used to cut loose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, did this one I want to show you. This also came from the dollar store. It's little tile decals, and I cut them apart and placed them on the pumpkin, or this black pumpkin randomly. Now, because this is a little stiff, it doesn't fit as closely, but you could also pot rule it down that would make it look okay. But I don't think it would matter that much anyway when you started looking at it if you happen to like that look. So I wanted to just share that with you. So once I had my pumpkins decorated the way I wanted them, then I'm glad they would just stack them on the dowel and one on top of the other. Had holes drilled in this with bottom and top and holes drilled just in the bottom with that one. You may have to adjust the size of your dowel to tell one here how you want it and how many you've got stacked on top of it. But I'll also put here in the description, the links to the previous two videos, the Christmas topiary video and the previous fall topiary, which is basically this 
with a little more detail in it, but with the orange and black pockets instead of the white, black and white. So, I'm Vicky Peel with her life hacks. If you like this video, give it a like, maybe comment on it, share it with somebody else who may be interested. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope you liked it. Put it in the comments if you try it and let me know how it goes. Thanks.